place at Wembley in the Papa John's Trophy to take on Tranmere Rovers is on the line tonight as 2019 finalist Sunderland take on 2018 champions Lincoln City here at the Stadium of Light. Lincoln are flying right now. Just one defeat in their last 12 games. But they'll be after revenge tonight for their 4-0 beating by Sunderland back in the league in December. Lee Johnson's first win as Sunderland manager. So it has the makings of being a close game here this evening. Great piece of skill on this near side. Clear foul and a free kick to Sunderland. Lyndon Gooch stopped in his tracks by Teo Edun. It was remarkable, wasn't it, at the weekend? Those four assists for Aidan McGeady, all for Charlie White headers. It might be an opportunity to get the ball into the Lincoln City penalty area here. It was a nice piece of play, wasn't it, by Gooch? And it will be McGeady to deliver. It's a good ball in, and the ball allowed to bounce around, and it falls through to Alex Palmer in the Lincoln City goal. Haven't seen too much by way of goal-scoring opportunities so far in this game. Set pieces could be the way, perhaps, if it continues to be this tight. Ball push forwards into the area, and it's fired goalwards some way wide in the end. Might have just took a nick on the way through as well. Sunderland beginning to ask a few questions here. No surprise to see McGeady involved, and then it was fired across by Ledbitter. Out to the far side. McFadzi. Still no way through so far for Sunderland as the efforts crack goalwards. And it's pushed away by Palmer. Decent hit by McGeady, stepping inside. We still await the first goal in this game. Good work by Bramall. Lincoln, as you would expect, a confident team, a confident side. Top of League One right now, and they might open the scoring here. Didn't catch it cleanly, did he? Brennan Johnson rolled across the box to him. It was a good opening for the visitors, and they haven't had too many of them tonight so far, just... Skewed his effort badly wide in the end. Should have done better. Closer to the corner flag than the goal in the end. And threaded down the line. And a cluster of Sunderland players battling to win the ball back. Throw in taken by Sunderland, but it's been given to Lincoln. Not too sure about that. And Lee Johnson certainly isn't. Absolutely furious. The Sunderland manager. Here's Grant. Plays it out to the far side. It's a good ball as well. And Sunderland looking a touch stretched here defensively. Pulled back to McGrandles who gets his effort away. And it's only pushed out as far as Scully. And Lincoln City take the lead. Anthony Scully gambling that the ball might break his way as Lee Johnson continues his complaints about a throw-in he felt his side should have had. And he would rightly think that as well after looking at that replay. But a lot of time transpired after the throw-in was given. Lincoln were a long, long way from the Sunderland goal, but they attacked brilliantly. McGrandall's left free. And there was Anthony Scully first on the scene to get his 11th goal of the season. And it is advantage Lincoln with the place in the final of the Papa John's Trophy final at stake. Lee Burge could only push it out and he could only push it right out into the danger zone. Anthony Scully, how big a goal could that be for Lincoln City? Champions in 2018, could they repeat the trick again this year? They've kept Sunderland quiet going forward so far tonight. Lincoln City, of course, they have got a very good defence. Been hard to 
work her way through all season long in all competitions as the cross comes in and it's just over the top. Clear sight of goal for a man who has scored plenty this season. Charlie Wyke has hardly had a sniff so far tonight and he ghosted in there on the stretch. He just couldn't find a way past Alex Palmer, bouncing down and over the crossbar. Real let off for Lincoln. Corner comes in, headed away to the edge of the area. Nice touch, nice couple of touches on the edge of the box. No surprise. And we're talking about Aidan McGeady. Low cross comes in, a dangerous cross as well, and Palmer gathers it in at the second attempt. Good reaction from Sunderland to falling behind. Got that chance for Wyke, and that was another half chance here. You get the feeling that Lincoln are going to have to dig in defensively to make it through to Wembley. McGeady again seems to have a bit of a roving role right now. Lincoln needs to try and keep a lid on him. Cut off that supply line to Charlie White. The cross comes in and White is there. They've done it again. Aidan McGeady to Charlie White. It's the route to goal for Sunderland, who are back level in this semi-final. They stood off Aidan McGeady, and you knew what he was going to do. And there was Charlie Wyke. He was on the front foot. He was on the move the second that McGeady got the ball. First to the cross, and he headed it beyond Alex Palmer. We saw it four times on Saturday, and they've done it again here tonight. And this tight is right back in the balance. Brilliant header from Charlie White. 22 goals now for the season. Lee Johnson is getting the best out of him. And he is getting the best out of Aidan McGeady. As the future owner of this football club looks on. Might have a go here. Just opens up for him and it's beaten away by Alex Palmer. Sunderland feel perhaps that this game is here to be won inside the 90. Good work again by McGeady. What a joy he's been to watch tonight. A reminder that if it's level after 90, he will go straight to penalties as McGeady tries his luck from the edge of the area. Sunderland trying to force the issue here and get the job done. Been on the back foot, but could they spring forwards and surprise Sunderland here? They might just do that. Half an opening for them. Big deflection on the strike. They did not make the most of that opportunity. And Brennan Johnson knows it. Ayoma bursting forwards. He could have gone alone. He looked to link up with Brennan Johnson. He found his man. He just couldn't find the finish. So it will go down to a penalty shootout. Anthony Scully had put Lincoln ahead. And it looked for a while as if it might well be enough to take them through to Wembley. But guess who? Charlie White for the 22nd time this season. And up he steps and it's a cool, calm penalty to get Sunderland up and running. And it's only just in by Scully. Blows out his lips. O'Neill up he steps. How has that squeezed through? He knows it as well. He's lucky. Alex Palmer should have kept it out. Steps McGrandles and it's just squeezed in again. Maguire. And again, it's not the best of penalties, but it finds its way in. And it's back off the bar. Ramirez Howarth, how costly could that be? Stutter on the step. He's so confident right now, Aidan McGeady. Sunderland are on the brink. Johnson steps up and it's straight down the middle. So it all comes down to this. Can Grant Ledbitter take his beloved Sunderland back to Wembley Stadium? If he scores, they are in the final. He takes his time. Ledbitter against Palmer. And Ledbitter scores! 
And Sunderland are going back down Wembley Way. Beaten in the final in 2019. They can put that right in just a few weeks' time. All smiles for Sunderland, who came back from behind on the night. Charlie White's equaliser getting them to that penalty shootout in which they scored five from five. All smiles for Sunderland. They're through to the Papa John's Trophy Final.